start the recording. Right, part three of the live session with the Samsung Series 9, the 900X3A on Sandy Bridge. Um, we're going to do some performance, one performance test now, and a very quick uh, performance test this should be, in a comparison with uh, netbooks and uh, AMD Fusion devices, um, based on some baseline figures that are already uh, available. Um, what I'm going to do right now, switch the camera and then just fire off a... Um, a CPU test. I'm using a pass. I think it's Passmark performance test here. Um, we will test the CPU right now. We'll run that through. Um, it will run, and I'm just going to um, fire up the uh, task manager while this does this. It will run. It will free run. It might actually overclock in these tests as well. Turbo boost might come in and uh, push this up to 2.3. Gigahertz. I can actually tell you if that's happening by starting the resource monitor at the same time. Oh, we've actually got two versions of the Passmark running as well. Whoops. Um, I need to start this <laughs> test again. <laughs> it's Oh, hell's breaking loose here. <laughs> so let me um, just double check what power mode we're in. We're in a balanced mode. I'm going to switch it to... Um, no, I'm not going to leave it on this. It's running these, it seems to be running these tests at uh, 800 megahertz, which is interesting. It says 800 megahertz. But let's just let it run through. It's on balance mode, and we can see, uh, see what happens. So it's run those tests through now. Now I'm going to get a baseline in from the Lenovo S205 and the EPC 1015P. EM, which is an N550 based device. Right. So, figures in green are this device. Figures in red are the N550. Figures in blue are the Lenovo. Uh, and so that was with a whole lot of messing around going on here. Uh, you can see uh, CPU mark, it's about 20% more than the Lenovo, about 40% more than the uh, S205. Here, integer maths, uh, vastly superior. Floating point maths, the AMD actually pipped it here, the Fusion platform. And it's fairly close behind on the prime number test. And then we get to SSE, where they're fairly even. And the compression test, the Atom wins. And the Sandy Bridge platform is ahead on all other tests. Now what I'm going to do now is just run that test again because uh, a lot of things were happening while we were while we were doing that which we were messing up the test. You should see it beat the uh, other devices in all but I think all of the tests actually. Um, the S205 comes close in floating point I believe. Let's just run that through again and then we'll do graphics tests and you'll see what the graphics performance is like compared to the Lenovo S25 and the AMD Fusion platform. And I can tell you now that it's not much better. In fact, in some cases, the Sandy Bridge platform with the HD 3000's graphics is not as good as the AMD Fusion on the E350. Okay, so now we've run that through. Uh, floating point again better on the Lenovo and compression better on the Atom on every other test. Oh, encryption. Atom one on that one. So I was running that. It didn't seem to be going above 800 uh, megahertz. I'm going to put this now into max performance mode. Run those tests again. Let's see what happens now. Let's see what's happening to the CPU. It's now gone to 140% of maximum. It's turbos kicked in now. And turbos just dropped Turbo's kicked in again. It's turbo's still running. It's obviously not overheating. And it's still turboing. It's dropped down down a bit. So it's, let's just put the brightness up. So that whole suite of tests seems to be running under turbo without any problem. It's only running tests for a matter of seconds and then stopping and starting another test. And that might be enough time for the actual uh, thermals to, to give it some headroom. So now look at the uh, results. Um, blow, blowing away 
the N550 here with about 5x performance same with integer maths um, about 3x on floating point um, the S205 is, is up there um, looks like maybe 6, 7x on prime numbers SSE performance is way up there again 4x atom uh, compression whips it encryption whips it physics whips it there, everything. there we go so we were running in 800 megahertz just then and it was beating the netbook by in, in most in most of those tests by a good margin and beating the fusion by a good margin at 800 megahertz and now we're running at 1.4 with the turbo up to 2.3 is blowing blowing them away okay right let's do the 3d graphics tests because this is an interesting one uh, it'll take a little while to just run through these tests and you'll see uh, see those tests happen on the screen so as I mentioned um, the HD 3000 graphics 3D capability is not that fantastic um, in another part of this video I'll do some um, gaming tests but uh, in many cases the AMD Fusion E350 beats the HD 3000 graphics here and in some cases by quite a margin and certainly when I did crystal mark tests with 2D performance the Fusion was was blowing it away uh, so um, it's really interesting because the Fusion is um, the E-series e Fusion comes in on devices that are 399 euros this is uh, something that uh, a platform that could be used on devices that cost a thousand euros so the uh, the AMD Fusion is, is beating it. So if you're looking at a mobile gaming device, the E350 on something like the Lenovo S205 is, is, is way better value. That's uh, finishing off that test now. I think there's one more test to do. And is it going to do it? Or is it going to? Oh, yeah. This is the DirectX 10. Direct3D 10. Let's just let that run through. It just takes another second or two. So any of you that have run the CPU mark test on devices and, and will recognize how slow that might be. Okay, so here we go. Let's zoom in on those uh, results here. We again, we've got the baseline with the Atom and the... I want to get this move down a bit. Come on. There we go. Right, so red is Atom, blue is Fusion, green is Sandy Bridge. So in the 3D graphics mark, the Lenovo, Sandy Bridge were, were neck and neck. The 3D gr simple graphics test, the Fusion was ahead of both the Atom and Sandy Bridge. This 3D medium test, I don't quite know what that actually means in terms of uh, complexities. But basically, the Lenovo won again. Complex test. Sandy Bridge just edged it out, maybe the CPU is helping there and the DirectX 10 of course the Atom can't do that this beats the Fusion by oh, 40% let's say so in most of those 3D tests there the Lenovo wins so so in summary then we've got uh, a CPU that at 800 megahertz uh, clearly uh, beats the high end of netbooks and also beats uh, Fusion E-Series very nicely if you switch it into um, high performance mode you are getting um, in some cases 10x performance uh, on some CPU tests so significant significant uh, difference in in, in, um, in uh, CPU results the thermal penalty for running those tests and getting that performance it looks like to me about 10 watts so from idle to full power CPU is about a 10 watt addition so it runs up to about 19 to 20 watts if you're using 3d and CPU it's slightly different it's going to go higher up into the 20 to 25 watt range but it's really not bad considering uh, a dual core atom running full pelt will do 12 watts so um, adding another uh, eight uh, six to eight watts on top of that for yeah five to 10x performance advantage I think is uh, is very good 3d performance though AMD fusion does seem to beat this on most tests um, so in terms of value for money on 3d 
the Fusion probably be a, be a better platform, but that's not really what this is is aimed at. It's not aimed as a low cost gaming platform. It's aimed at as an all over, an all round platform, and I think um, for the target market it uh, fits that uh, pretty well. All right, that's the end of that part of the test. We might do some gaming uh, demos in another part of the video. But you've been watching Ultrabook News with the Samsung Series 9. And thanks for watching. Uh, join us on the next part of the video or follow us on Twitter at Ultramobile, Ultrabook News. I'm going to get that wrong every time. Ultrabook News on Twitter. My name's Chippy. I'm Chippy on Twitter. Thanks for watching. Part